matchup, and when he's ready for it, it's it's rough because he's so cerebral. And he is, <laughs> yeah, he is cerebral. He's much like Professor X. You yes. plug him into a machine, and he can identify all the foxes yes. and all the crouch cancel percents and <laughs> destroy you. He was telling me about crouch cancel percents, some, some forbidden knowledge, and uh, about how like Fox actually, there's nothing that Samus, no aerial Fox. Oh, Wait. <laughs> I'm losing it. Um, All right. Samus cannot crouch cancel any of Fox's aerials at 0%. She can okay. ASDI down from standing and then respond, but crouch cancel does not actually work. And so, like, he, he was complaining. He was basically saying that because of this interaction, a Fox actually hitting a Nair against Samus is just, for the Fox's end, a mess up where they think they're making a mistake. And from the Samus's end, it's a mix up. So Fox <laughs> making a mistake is a mix up. Wow. It's, it's, it's really funny. That's He's Fox not happy you. about it. That's Fox for you. <laughs> yeah. I think that that's, that's cool, though. Ooh, I actually did get in. I was able to log into my Tapo stats. Let's see. I'll get some player stats. I want to find out exactly how good Duck is versus Marth, because I know he beat Zane at Pat's house. Okay. Um, this is a little bit before yeah, Zane's quote-unquote ascension, but, you know, he also yeah. lost a round one pools at this tournament, so. True. I, I think I I've seen him play know. the moon a couple times also, because they're yes. close. Uh, yeah, at Full Boom 3, they had a nail biter. I think they might have had rematches since then that the moon had okay. won, um, but he did beat him about a year ago. Duck was not super active last year. He started and ended the years exceptional, True. Um, but the Bindle was, you know, not the most exciting for Duck fans. Is there a decent Mart in Michigan that could have uh, practiced with? I'm, I'm sure there is. I, I'm not, act I... Yeah. That is definitely one of my, my gaps in knowledge is like, <laughs> is like every region's power rankings. It's probably it's, it's hard. There's it's, so it's many hard. power rankings. There's a lot of people in the We need a new plague. Especially when you come to Canada, there's like, because it's the biggest Can uh, Canadian national, so a lot of other regions travel, and sometimes we're such a big country. All right, I got it up. Marth, Duck versus Marth stats. He has 17 matches played, 13 wins, and four losses, a 76% win good. rate. That is the highest of all of his win rates. He is wow. better versus Marth than any other character. Impressive. Impressive. Now I'm scared for Vino. You must be very proud. Yes. <laughs> so now I'm do, scared do, for Vino. Do you think he knows that? Do you think he could have told you, I'm 76%? Up against Mark. Absolutely not. I think that 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 like the things included in Tapo stats are not things that people think about. They think about like, oh, I'm good versus Marth. Okay. But they might not know the per exact percent. All right. And they think about players and people rather than like vague like care. They they're yeah. playing. He's playing Vino. He's not playing Marth. True. The Marth matters, but that, that's what makes top players top players is they can a lot of ways, outplay yeah. you just because you're you. Like, yeah. Not just because your character. Yeah, yeah. I think that that's definitely like the true. Feeling like you're one with the game is when your your character is actually an avatar for what you want to happen. Yes. All right, let's see what we got. That was very quiet. Actually. Thank you. It was not a quote, however. No, no, no. I'm I'm free. I'm free riding. <laughs> no Dr. Seuss right there. All right. Not fair from Ledge. I feel like Samus does that most of the time. Yeah. Like 50. Duck is really active in this game. You see how he... Yeah, he's like really up in his face. Yeah, I think... It's interesting because Marth does get a solid amount off of grab, but it's it's very tough to like, get more than one hit. And he's basically staying really close in his face and then expecting him to grab after he maybe wave dashes behind him. I saw that coming out once. And that is a common play by Duck to kind of dance around your shield and, and yeah. force you to pick the wrong direction of an option. Well, I feel like Samus is in danger when he's that, she's that close to Marth. I don't know, maybe it's... Marth doesn't have great out-of-shield options. He has downer that has yeah. big coverage, but is a pretty big frame commit. And Duck's, like, shield pressure, so to speak, is, like, jabs and tilts on shield. Uh, he generally Ooh. keeps himself in a pretty safe zone away from most mix-ups, where even if he's not being, you know, 100% safe, he's safe versus uh, the majority of things. Fair enough. And then once you prove that you can survive that onslaught, that's when he can like go to the next level of the meta. Ooh, that was sexy. Yeah. Missile from downtown as he, as he falls. <laughs> wow. That was weird. It's even that, like there are places where Vino could have caught him, mm -hmm. but Duck I feel like that's really well. Had great drift. Wow, that was such a good Oh, Ooh. okay, okay. That's cool. Yeah, duck notices. Yeah. The classic duck eye roll. Yes. We've seen that so many times. I that, was, that was a good. Oh, wow. uh -oh. I was gonna say that was a good recovery until you did that. Yeah. 
Dino, yeah, not getting a lot of traction in this. It feels yeah. like Duck kind of similar to almost Crunch and Plop, where yeah, I still feel there like are moments of like decent play, but uh, it never feels like Duck is in danger. Agreed. Oh. And he keeps catching with these forward smashes. That's how he opened up the game of that first stock. And Vino is just getting a little bit too greedy on the recovery where he doesn't want to yeah. have to deal with fighting from the corner. And so he kind of jumps to that next step where he's like, well, maybe I'll get a fair. Maybe I can get a neutral. Or maybe I can get a down air or just like near dodge. It's like, oh, maybe I can grab the ledge. Yeah. Yeah. But instead of drifting back and then drifting back to the ledge or trying to do an up from below, he yeah. is trying to dodge that execution test and uh, gets caught for it two times. Yeah, twice, basically. The twice. Twice. Shoutouts to 8th grade Whoa. Spanish class. Whoa, what? Randall made everything so funky there. Yeah, Randall's a weird dude. He's into some of that, that freaky stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you know who's in that freak? Who's into freaky stuff? <laughs> that elephant in the back. Yo. That elephant. That, watches, that giant hand is very... Wa he watches people oh. get destroyed on that stage. Yeah, he's day. definitely a voyeur. A little yeah. bit of a... Uh, a little bit of a peeping Tom. <laughs> this is pretty good from Bino. That's the first True. stock. And it was coming off the backs of two really solid forward smashes, just kind of yeah. calling out Duck, uh, standing in place as a turret. This is that execution test where, okay, so he's not going to try to assault straight from above the edge, but once you're below, it makes Duck's yeah. job a, little, a lot easier. Definitely less options. Oh my, just dances around him. Yeah. Good crouch canceling from, from Duck a little bit earlier. See, like, just that, just that interaction. He just crouches in front of the guy. Yeah. It's interesting to see how I feel like Grab is one of the great differentiators among the Samus players. Oh, and that. <laughs> Shout out to Yugo. Oh, well, Catches both of them. Yeah, because he knew if he drifted low, then he would just, like, be able to, like, roll up from ledge. So he's kind of uh, checkmated there a little bit. Yeah. There might have been an option, a little, a different, you know, third drift, but that was a good fair, actually. Yeah, he catches them, and now it's two to two. Vino, showing up way. I think Yoshi's helps him a lot. He's like less scared of the skirmishes because, like, he's just right there. And yeah, Mark just does so good. On the yeah, and when he gets those like forward smashes, they they just have so much more value than on a bigger map. True. All right. So he doesn't need to do quite as much to get to get his kills in. You gotta respect the shield drop there. Oh man, he's eating these missiles. That was a sick cover, yeah. actually. That was really good. I think, uh, let's see how Duck covers it this time. All right. No, now, see now because he's worried yeah. about the mix-up going high. True. So he showed something else and now, yeah. not Duck. But then yeah. you get to that next level, right? Which yeah. is how do you fight out from now, the corner. Yeah. Now what do you do? Okay. Ooh, seeing there's that jab pressure that isn't real on shield, but usually usually because Duck is like doing so many wave dashes and movements around, you get a little bit oh, flustered. Wow. Yeah, and he dodged the up beam. That hitbox actually extends a little bit behind. That so. micro space spacing was insane. Micro spacing. You need it. You definitely need a scope. The hitbox on uh, the Samus charge shot. The Samus is charge shot is, is atrocious. Yes. It's basically like the size of the real size of it is like half. The diameter. Yeah, maybe even less than that. Yeah. It's so small. My dream modification for melee, because uh, Charge Shot actually has very similar knockback to knee, is for somebody to mod the texture of Charge Shot to be a little Captain Falcon kneeing. And then oh, it just like, he grows and he grows and cool. grows, and then you shoot out Falcon with a knee. <laughs> I thought where you were going to go is like, you make, you, you make all the hitboxes, the animation is the hitbox. That would be insane. It like would make up like, no, no, like just everything. So let's say uh, Ganon's fair. The animation is so big, it's like you make it even bigger. But like uh, the Ganon Sheik's could fair, buffs, yeah. Sheik's fair, you make it smaller because it's like a, just a oh, tiny hand. So match, you could just yeah, make, yeah. you could match the animation sort of to everything. I think that's how Guilty Gears. Uh, I can't remember which game has like really hyper realistic hitboxes. There's a fighting game that is. I think like that'd that. be a, a funny melee mod. Yeah. Hitbox modification, of course. Would you imagine Shine? Shine would be horrible. That'd be fun. No. Falco already actually, has a actually, hitbox. cancel that. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah. Fox, Fox, would be too, Fox and Falco would be insane. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he got caught. Like, Duck knew he was going to jab the missile. Yeah. He did it like three or four times in that corner. and. Okay. okay. Vino now, happy to make it and represent New York and Canada, but Easy to do game three definitely looking good. Oh, that little grim. the first hit him there, pretty sure it fanned him. Yeah. And then the second one hit. That's and we're on, we're on vanilla, ladies and gentlemen. Vanilla does have fandoms. Yeah. People, people forget. They seem to have 
lost their minds. <laughs> oh, oh no. that's a trade. That's rough. Interesting trade. Thirteen percent. Yeah, he's shaking his head. That's yeah, not an intentional he trade. He could have made it back and gotten what he wanted. I do like the idea of like going off and being more aggressive than Samus off stage. This is that's a great sequence right there. Yes. That is how you rack up percent on Samus's Marth. You have to like perfectly space, really abuse the fact that Samus can get stuck. I love how Vino's playing this. I also like how Duck was just dying to ledge every time on these yeah. weird hits. Okay. Ooh, that okay. was interesting. Okay. Vino putting something together oh, here. Oh, the sour spot. And in game two, he was even a lot of the game. He started to struggle in the ter terms of coming off from edge. Whoa. That was weird, but it worked. This is some stuff I've never seen. I don't know. I don't know if he's getting creative or just. And he keeps trading with forward smash. He traded against the uh, the forward air. Now he's trading against like how did all wait, sorts of hitboxes. Wait, how did Grapple hit Mart and then hit the stage at the he same time? He just forward what? smashed. Oh! He forward smashed the missile. I'm not sure what's going on. Vino's a magician I think of Marth hitboxes right now. Let, let's blame Vanilla Melee. I think it's a, it's a, the new the new meta. Vanilla causes vanilla. <laughs> yeah. It's a, oh yeah, God. It's true. All right, but Duck still manages to slip through. That's the problem. Vino might have been yeah. getting all these wins, but you gotta finish the stock. It doesn't matter until you get that last hit. Yeah. Or try this man. Hey, there we go. Is that gonna make it back? No. Okay. And that's last stock, 0% for everybody. Game resetting and Vino trying to keep himself alive. <laughs> yeah. That's not as patient as we saw earlier. True. Yeah. I like how Vino just stood there instead of edge guarding. He was like, yeah, you're dead. And just short hop fair, short hop fair. And Duck trying to fight, fight his way in. He wants to wave dash in and then get the crouch cancel, but I think he's slowly getting out of that percentage. We'll have to test oh, that rough. hypothesis. No that was bomb. A good bomb. Yeah, not getting hit by those forward smashes. Remember the Halcyon Ooh. game, days of game one, when he would just be able to forward smash Vino? He's yes. working a lot harder now. Yep. Ooh, that is the catch. In between the up, the down tilts. Yeah, the down tilt pushed him oh. forward just a little bit too much. Thank God that I'll be at a hitbox. Ooh, good retreat there. He's starting to catch on to Duck, advancing with the down smash, but it's oh, just yeah, too it. little. Randall's coming. <gasps> yeah, no delay, uh, though. I don't think he could have delayed it no. that much. Yeah, it was a little bit too little too late from Vino. He started yeah. to get the adaptions together, but he had taken so much percent. The the second game gave him a lot of like mileage. And right. the third game he almost had it, but then Duck kinda like uh was ready for the cheese that time. Or yeah. like the cheesy of the box, what you could say. Yeah, yeah. The cheese that